Man, what a beautiful weather. Okay, let's build this bolt organizer. Every time I build something, I use a shit ton of bolts. These bolts have different diameters, lengths, and are made out of different materials. Luckily, I've got them nicely stored in these Ziploc bags. I got about 40 of them, so each time I want to pick up a bolt, I have to go through them. I obviously need a bolt organizer, so I looked online and I haven't found any that are decent. I know there are better organizers than this one, but I still think I can do better. Yeah, I know, great drawing skills. If I'm gonna put the effort into making this, it should be better than the stuff I found online. I want this to be stackable, so you can always add another layer. I also want this to be expandable to the sides, so you can bolt these organizers together if you had more. I'm gonna be moving this quite a lot, so if this tilts, I don't want the drawers to just fall out. So there should be some mechanism which will prevent it from falling out. If you want to open this drawer, you either pull hard or you press a button, I haven't decided yet. This is how the drawer looks when it's opened. I want some mechanism that will stop it from going further. But it would also be useful to be able to take the drawer out completely, so I want to add that as well. I've just printed the first prototypes. The drawer is gonna be made out of these segments. It's gonna be, I think, three times three, so nine segments. Each segment is gonna hold a single type of a bolt. At first, I used fillets for the corners. When there's only a few bolts, it will be easier to pick up because they will be in the center. But this is horrible. If I shake this, the bolts will just fall out. Instead, I added this fillet to the bottom. T to stop the bolts from falling out at the top, I also added a fillet. Lastly, I've extended the edge at one side, so I can put a sticker with the name of the bolt. I'm from Europe, so we use this system. M3, that's just the thread. 8, that's the length. And 10.9, that's the material. If you multiply these numbers, you get the yield strength. So this is 900 megapascals. And if you add a zero to the first number, you get the absolute strength, so this is 1000 megapascals. These stickers are great, they are waterproof, so it's much better than using paper. This works well, it's even square, so I can easily stack this to create a 3x3 three three matrix. But before I go on and print the whole drawer, I want to design the mechanism for locking it. My first idea was to add springs. The spring would have this button, and if you wanted to open the drawer, the button would be in the way. So you would have to press down the button to open the drawer, then it would spring back. I tried these two springs, and both of them failed. It turns out that PLA springs kind of suck, and pressing these small buttons is also annoying. I opted for a cam design. I added these cams to the drawer, and I printed this case in which the drawer will slide. These cams have to pass through these springs and I've printed the springs out of TPU so it's more elastic. It's not a smooth motion and it's really hard to pull it out or even put it in. I tried to improve this design but honestly I was kind of stuck. So I got a bunch of shitty ideas, each more complicated than the other one. For example this is a TPU sheet that should spread out when you press on it. I don't even know what this is, but as I was printing one of these shitty ideas, I noticed that my 3D printer has a drawer and it does kind of what I want. Like when you try to open it, you have to pull on it and then it moves freely. It doesn't have the second part, it just falls out, which is what I don't want to happen. But nonetheless, I checked what design they have and it's very simple, they just have a spring made out of metal. There's a button and when you try to pull it out, the spring just bends. So I immediately copied this design and it kind of works. And this is what it looks like finished. I already filled it with bolts. It works really well. I can tilt this and it doesn't just fall out. You have to pull on it to open it. Then it's free to move. And when you get to the end, it just stays extended like that. And if you want to pull out the whole drawer, you can. 
it's hard to put it back in with one hand, but I managed to do it. I also added this handle so you can carry it with yourself, which is very useful for me because I carry it all the time. And to the sides, I added this screwdriver and also the bits for the screwdriver. So I have it on my hands. This thing on the bottom, that's just foam seal. You can find it on a hardware store. It's quite useful because it doesn't slip. Not even the empty balls get through. This project is super useful. I've been using it for a month and it's fucking great. If you're sad that I didn't film the assembly, I will expand this one layer. Okay, to get the STL files, just go down the description, click on this link and it will take you to my Patreon where you can download them for free. I've posted the files for all of my projects on Patreon. You don't have to pay anything, but if you want to support this channel, you can, and in return, you will get project files for the Hexapod, the CNC machine, and the soft robotic gripper. The rest of my projects are free. After you download the project files, just go to the STL folder. We are gonna print the drawer and the case. The rest is pretty straightforward to print. Let's start with the drawer. You want to print this with a 0.6mm nozzle. It will work with others too, but it's optimized for this one. You want to put hole horizontal expansion for 0.3. Normally if you print a hole that's 10mm and then you measure it, it's not gonna be 10mm, it's gonna shrink. This is supposed to compensate for it. If you don't have this sitting visible in Cura, you can just manage sitting visibility, search hole and check this box. You want to print the drawer at 0% infill, then you can slice it. Also, no supports. For the case, you want everything the same, but put 15% for the infill. You need supports for the springs and then you can put support blockers for the rest of the part. Now it should create supports only for this spring. Great, this is enough. Now we can save these two parts and print them. Let it cool completely, otherwise it will wrap the bottom and it will get destroyed. The springs are printed with supports, so you need to get rid of them. As long as the springs bend, it's fine. Now we can add a heat set insert to this. There's five mounting holes, but you actually only need three here, here, and here at the back. Now I'm gonna add this to the top of my bolt organizer, but before that, I'm gonna attach the labels. These are the waterproof stickers I use. I printed a guide for cutting them, it's in the STL files. When you're putting the stickers onto the case, make sure to put it all the way at the bottom. Otherwise, when you close and open a drawer, it will get scratched. This thing obviously isn't perfect. For example, if you open this and slam it really hard, some of the bolts can jump out, but just don't slam it. These springs, they are from PLA, and I'm not sure how long they will last. I've been using this for a month and it's fine, but it's probably not gonna last five years or something. So that's something to think about. Also, if you stack these up, you can see it's kind of leaning to the left, but if you're not gonna make this 10 meters high, it should be okay. One last thing I noticed, if you completely open this up, these labels you can see fine, but the back ones, they are kind of hidden, you can see them only from this angle, so I should have made this longer. It works fine, so I'm not gonna remake this anytime soon, probably, unless there's high demand, but yeah, this could be improved quite easily. 